Now let's start by testing our Tomcat server and making sure that it's functioning uh, properly. Uh, you will just copy uh, your fixed IP from up here without the port for sure because we will be using a different port and the port would be 8080 and once I click on that I should be receiving this page. This page um, as you can see here that you have set up or installed Tomcat successfully. But if you cl clicked on the Tomcat manager uh, you will be prompted for a username and a password. From where would you get that? Um, well, uh, you need a program like uh, WinSCP uh, or Secure Copy Protocol uh, and it's uh, a free and open source program uh, with a graphical user uh, interface for managing files and so on. The web page uh, for that um, is uh, wins, win s cp.net you will download this program once you do that I'll just click on it and once I do that you'll be prompted for the host name the username which I will and the password and once I do that uh, I will uh, log in uh, into as you can see here now you are at the root of uh, your uh, server and you will click up here at the root just open it we go down to use it and then to local and from inside here you should click on Jakarta and inside Jakarta you will see that we have the Apache Tomcat 5.5.3.5 and I have installed another version that I'll be showing you later how to do that but this one was the one that's installed by the WHM uh, Easy up, uh, Update and this link uh, is the link uh, that uh, points to the current use Apache Tomcat version. If I clicked on that now, okay, as you can see, it points out to a certain and a specific Apache format. So let's go back to the Apache Tomcat 5.5.3.5. Now we go to the configuration file. Inside the configuration file, you will see a file called tomcatusers.xml. If I click on this file, you will see the following. You will only have these three lines. You have to add this four line in order to access a uh, Tomcat manager. You will uh, put a username of whatever. A password, uh, the one I inserted here was triple X, and I will insert a role of Tomcat, comma, manager. Okay. You have to add this line here, and then click on the save so you can uh, access uh, the uh, manager. Uh, or the Tomcat uh, manager. Okay, so I will uh, close uh, this one here, and now you will be able to access your Tomcat manager. I lost the internet connection. Uh, but you suppose uh, to have a connection as easily as uh, let me click on this one for you so you can see now if I click on Tomcat manager you will see these are the applications here the uh, 
the application manager uh, you can start to stop any of the applications uh, most of these are uh, like sample applications uh, in the web apps folder you can start or stop reload deploy or undeploy additionally you can deploy automatically any warp files located here or any context XML files you have for any of your uh, applications now uh, we are uh, through with this so let's go back again what if I clicked on the Tomcat administration you will receive that the Tomcat administration web application is no longer installed by default you have to install a package to use it so in the next video we'll show you how to do but